Okay. How many orbitals in an atom? So, orbitals in an atom can have this designation. Okay. So, with this, this is a combination actually um, of um, using your, in terms of the, um, the, the theoretical numbers, what are they called? The, um, where we have the N, L, M, L, and M, S. Those would be like your um, orbital uh, notation number, like your best for theory. Just blank it out on the actual name of it. Nonetheless, the ones we're focusing on here for this question is these two, okay? The L and ML, okay? Because 5P, all right, that one, to be able to say the orbital, so we know it's L because it's a P. So then with ML, okay, P simply can only have um, uh, three orbitals in it. It would be the whole, because P for L, when it's P, is equal to 1. So we have ML of minus 1, 0, and 1, which connotes to 3 orbitals in there. So with that being said, this question would only have 3 for 5P. For 3DZ2, Z in the L, okay, stands for... 2 and ml is minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 but 3dz2 because we have this z2 part is emphasizing just one of those fives um, fortunately it is one of the things you have to memorize we actually have it here okay so if we went over to our um, orbitals you can see here that the 3DZ2 is just a specific type of orbital here. And this right here can only fit two electrons because it's only one orbital. So this is what it's referring to here. And that would be just one for the 3DZ2. Because only specifically referring to one of the 3Ds. Um, now 4D, okay. Same thing here, we apply the ML of the five. You can see here, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one. And because it's not saying like Z2 or anything like that, this one would have five orbitals that can have that designation. Now, if N was equal to five, so now this is starting at, theoretically, because our N is five, our L is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Making our ML, okay, is going to be now 0, minus 1. Well, just to make it easier for ourselves, 0 would only translate to just one orbital because it's just 0. And this, as we showed up there, is 3. This is 5. This would be 7. And this would actually be 9. So if we added all these together, that would tell us how many orbitals we deal with if n was 5. So that's 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1. We have 25 possible orbitals with that designation. And if n was 4, okay, we follow kind of like this, where l would be 0, 1, 2, 3. And in a sense, we're just canceling that 9. So we would have... 25 minus 9, 16, okay? This is the possible orbitals, okay? Two times, okay? And just to make sure, um, for the possible orbitals, the way you can actually calculate it as well, just to see if my math is correct here, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, Yes, so exactly. So this is what we'd have here. We would have 1, 3, 1, 5, 25, and 16 possible orbitals. So 3, 1, 5, perfect. 
and then 25, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and this would be 16. And this is correct. And now let's move on to question number eight.